everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're back with another 2-in-1 Elite figure review on the brand new WWE Elite Series 94 Wesley and Nash Carter figures, aka MSK as a tag team. First time in the line for both of these. Probably the last time in the line for Nash Carter being as he did get released with all that stuff going on there, man. Just a real tough situation over there. We do have Wesley and Nash Carter looking pretty good right here. I think both figures look fantastic. These are figures that I was excited for. I remember us predating these you know we we predicted that these were coming soon in elite 94 way before we even got like elite 90 i think it was way back on the channel we predicted this and if you guys if you guys want future info or leaks or releases or any info about upcoming figure lines and elites and ultimates and aew and all those different things man subscribe to the channel leave us a like this is the home of wwe and aew action figures but here we have wesley and nash carter if you guys already like what you see you can go over to ringside collectibles use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent i do love the gear that we have going on right here but you do have both men right here on the side you do have both men again on the back you have yet again the men right there matching gear looking pretty good you have the little bio reads if you'd like to read it you can pause it now apparently this is from nxt takeover stand and deliver don't know if that's accurate i do want to say i watched this show though i'm pretty i'm pretty sure i did however rest of the figures in the way if you guys missed edge and bret hart from yesterday definitely go check that out but we have wesley and nash carter over here not much more going on with the packaging there guys so with that being said let's crack these guys out of their packaging and find out what wesley and nash quarter are all about. So here's Wesley and Nash Carter out of their packaging. Liking what I'm seeing so far, of course, gripes as always. We have gripes. We, uh, we always have gripes, right? MDT always always turn apart the figures. At least that's what people tell me. They tell me I'm too critical. I'm too crucial, man, but I'm here for you. I'm here to review the product for you, the viewer, the consumer, to take a look at these figures, let you know my honest opinions about them, no matter what logo slapped on the side, and give you honest and unbiased critiques of these action figures so that you spend your hard-earned money on these, or you don't spend your hard-earned money on these. So with those things being said, man, I'm really excited to have this tag team in hand. I have appreciated their run that they had in NXT. You know, it was fun to watch while it lasted. I hate to see them go, but you know what, man? We can now forever run matches in our own households with these action figures. But since they are a tag team, man, we're going to put their accessories together. We're going to review them all together, and then we're going to take a look at the figures all together, as we should. You know, we got a lot of new stuff going on with these figures, and I'm excited, so let's shut the hell up and dive into the accessories that come with both Wesley and Nash Carter. All right, guys, so we are going to cover Nash Carter and Wesley's accessories together as they are a tag team. That's typically what we do when we have a tag team on our hands. And they both come with the same hoodie jacket, and it is going to be in this rubber material. Now, I will say, okay, let's just let's just be real, okay? This would have been so much better as cloth, okay? It would have definitely been better as cloth, but I guess this is better than, like, no posability whatsoever. But still, at the same time, you know, you do get the clasps on it, which is just so, that is just... Just that, that, dude, that, that cannot be a thing in 2022. These clasps like this, man, we got to get away from this. You know, it's been over a decade. It's time. It's time to retire, but you got the colors going around. Nice sculpts going on. You got the hood on there. MSK going on. I love all the colors. Like, it's really nice colors going on and nice coloration. And I like how they put it upside down because it would be like this if you were to put it on. So that's nice details there. But these are the same. You get the exact same hoodie. Looks like maybe the triangles right here are a bit bigger. Okay, so they're not identical, I guess, because this. This one's Wesley's and this one's Nash Carter. So they are a little bit different, but not much different. The graphics are just a tad different there. So you can notice that, you know, this comes to a point. This is more of like a, a trapezoid style shape or rectangular squarish squared off shape there. But you guys get the point. Rubber garbage. And outside of that, they both come with mic holding hands. So you do get your Wesley hands here, which are a nice colorway. You got the white wrist tape on the left hand and the nun on the other. And then for Nash Carter, it is just regular mic holding hands hands you know nothing too out of the crazy realm we've seen these a million times and then you do have their custom or signature msk hands which are really nice very nice sculpt on here they are cool you know i think these look really good they did a great job on these i do believe we've seen these before but they look good in the skin tone and you know the the white tape on there as well except for the white peg not on there and then for nash carter you do have the same hands here so you know both of these sculpt uh, the sculpts are very good but i do believe we've seen these before so diving into wesley's head sculpt i like this head sculpt 
dope, man. I really do. I like I like the short dreads that he's got coming right here. I like it a lot, actually. Like, I think this looks just like him. I think they nailed the likeness. I like the beard sculpt. I like the hair. I, I like everything about it, man. I really do enjoy it. So this is a really good Wesley head sculpt. I like the texturing and stuff that we got going on right here. Really good stuff going down. This is where the bugaboos come in, man. This right here is just unacceptable. How are we going to get this John Morrison torso for him? Makes no sense. He does have his Carpe Diem tattoo across the titties there. He's got his roses in there. I think that's roses. No, nah, maybe it's like Chinese or Japanese text. I think we have some like text going on right there. It looked like roses for a second, but he's got his cross there. Absolutely 100% should have used the Ricochet torso, man. Should have used the Ricochet torso. It would have been perfect on this body. With his tattoos and the way Ricochet looks, this would have been absolutely perfect, but he does have his tattoos going down on the shoulders, on the arms. They are double jointed, pinless, look all good here. This is where the money is too, dude. Look at this back tat. Holy hell. Look, you got King of Kings right there. It looks like he does have like the crown of thorns, I think, right there. Then you have a nice angel here. Dude, that's pretty wicked. He's got a pretty nice back piece going on. And they, they didn't really even show this off when the figure came out, right? So I think this looks great. We never really got detailed images of this. Like, look at this back. Look at these back muscles right here in the lower back. Like, what is going on? Anyway, he does have a sick MSK graphic there on his shorts. I like this mold. I do believe this is a brand new shorts mold. I don't know if the crotch, I don't think the crotch is new, but this upper leg right here with the X Pocky DX kind of style going on MSK logo here. These are on ball joints. You do get the upper thigh cut. We'll do an articulation standpoint in just a minute, but I like these shorts a lot. I think the colors stand out a lot. This is also one of the bugaboos. They are pinless. I like the way the thighs look. It's when you get into the knees right here, I do get a little bit, a bit of paint chip right there. And then he has Johnny Gargano syndrome, man. He has the Kevin Owens style boots, the Johnny Gargano style boots. Really ugly, man. Really ugly. And I don't think it's fixable because they're pinless. I don't know what to do here. You know, there's really nothing you can do there. He does have open knee pads, which look good, but this figure does have some things that I don't know if we're gonna, you know, I don't know if they're fixable, you know? I, I don't know, but uh, as far as articulation goes, man, he can do the split tees. He's got the upper thigh cut. It is a double jointed knee, so you know, you get that nice bend in there. He does have boot rotation. He's got a decent little toe pivot right there. The waist is pretty good. Really tight ab crunch on mine. I've seen people have really loose ones, but he does have double jointed arms. You get the, uh, uh, right at 90 right there. You get the full swivel bicep swivel, double jointed hands rotate and hinge right here. Head articulation is actually decent. He can look up a little bit, not really down. He can pivot his head really nice, and he can go 360. So, I mean, this figure can pose around really great. I just, dude, that torso just stands out. It looks like he's wearing body armor or something. It really aesthetically makes the figure kind of ugly to look at. Why didn't they use the ricochet torso, man? I may put a ricochet torso on here with ricochet's tattoos and just leave it. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just think that would have been perfect. I don't know what the skin tones would look like. They're very similar. I don't know if Ricochet's a little lighter, but dead gum, man. They they definitely kind of ruined this figure with this torso choice. It, it just puts me off. Now, as far as Nash Carter goes, I like this head sculpt a lot. Just like Wesley, I think it does capture the likeness. I do have a little bit of wackiness right here on the forehead. I don't know what's going on there with the paint chip, but it looks good. I like the head shaped on the side there. Kind of a Shinsuke Nakamura haircut. He has chest tattoos as well. They did give him a Daniel Bryan torso, which kind of works for small guys like this, right? He's tiny, or he's not like tiny, but he is smaller. I think this torso can work for a guy like that. He does have his own tattoos going on over here. You get some nice tattoo detail. It goes over the wrist tape right there, which is kind of annoying, but he's got his double jointed arms. You got some different things going on. No back tats or anything, but he does have his other arm tats over here. I'd really like to see what Mattel could do with like my tattoos. You know, how they'd come across on a double jointed arm figure. Not like decals, but m like actually printed from the factory on there. I'd like to see something like that, but really tight waist joint right there. He does have the X-Pac style gear just like, you know, Wesley. They got a match. They are a tag team, but you have that same MSK graphic over here. I do get a little bit of like stainage or something right here that kind of ruins the white, but it's not terrible. He's got his big black knee pads on there, which are nice. You do have lower legs that are black, and then you have all black kick pads right there, but this figure's pretty nice as well, man. These are the, some of those figures that are going to really pose around well, you know, when you get them in hand that just move around fantastic because they're on ball joints. They have double jointed arms. They have double jointed knees. You know, they're, they're really nice. This figure can move around and pose around with the best of them just like Wesley can, so I don't think you're going to have any problems with Nash Carter, man. He, he really does stand out here. He poses around nice. I can see people doing crazy pick fed matches and stuff like that with this tag team, so I am looking forward to that. We'll see what comes of it. Don't know if they'll ever be an MDT, but you know, who else, who who really is these days, you know? But I think that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 Elite 94 review on Wesley and Nash Carter, MSK's tag team here in Elite Series 94. First time in the line for both of these, probably last time in the line for Nash Carter.
order. Maybe Wesley can get a figure down the line. We will have to see. But I do have my gripes. Like we said, man, I, I, I did not like a few things about it. I think Wesley is totally way too jacked. I think that the ricochet torso with the added tattoo detail that they have all over this guy would have been perfect for him. Like, it fits the, the leanness of Ricochet is just like Wes Lee. They gave him John Morrison's torso for some idiotic reason. I really can't describe why they would do that. He does have Johnny Gargano syndrome. I don't know why you wouldn't just give him the same lower legs that you gave Nash Carter, right? I know the formulas are a little bit different, but I still think they could have got away with that. I know these are newly tooled legs, but the Johnny Gargano syndrome is never the answer, and I don't think I can fix it because it's it, there's no pins in there, and unless I literally, like, chop the legs off, I really don't know how to fix that. So, it is something we're going to have to live with. I don't think you can change out Wesley's Johnny Gargano syndrome unless you replaced his kick pads with regular wrestling boots. So that is the story there. But Wesley and Nash Carter still look really good. I enjoy the figures. They move around fantastic. They're both on ball joints, so that's always nice. And I like them as a tag team, and I, I just hate that we will not see them together again in NXT or in WWE, or at least for, for right now. However, man, if you guys would like to grab these figures, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% with shopping over there. Go get your hands on these figures as well as others. But that is going to wrap up the review. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let's get into our random shout out before we get out of here. Again, guys, if you would like a future shout out in a future video, you got to comment down below in the comment section. Give me a cool comment. Leave a like on the video. Be active on the channel and you could earn yourselves a shout out. But this shout out is going to go to Alex Ogilvy. Ogilvy? Ogilvy? Alex Ogilvy. Ogil Ogilvy. On a side note, I really I really miss when action figure surgery was the norm. That's what got me addicted to this channel, but with all these ease of part switching, I understand thumbs up emoji. Well, I really appreciate the comment, Alex, but action figure surgery hasn't gone anywhere. It's just been a minute since I've had a few figures to fix up and stuff. It will return very quickly, and we are working on a brand new episode, possibly featuring Elite 94, as well as some other things. We'll have to see about that, but I do appreciate the kind words, and action figure surgery will always be a staple on the channel. I do appreciate it again, but it is not going anywhere. I, I plan on doing action figure surgery regularly. I guess it just it has been a minute since it's been, you know, like once a week or something. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I, I plan to get an action figure surgery out again very, very soon, and I do appreciate it, man, but more surgery coming soon from Dr. Whitekiss, but thanks to Alex for the comment. Guys, I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Have a blessed day, and I will see you guys in the next one. You crossed the line, I've been